previously on Davlorito. This one. Da -da 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 Another thing I'm going to miss here in Korea, many stores you get water and coffee for free. Canora. Good evening everybody! Yes, it's the evening. Today I didn't do much. I just relaxed and stayed at home and tried to edit but I started watching YouTube videos and Korean dramas. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't get any time to edit or I had time to edit but I did not edit. Anyway, um, I'm headed out now. Um, we're going to Costco or something. Costco. Yeah, Costco. Just gonna get some stuff. Anyway, this is what I'm wearing. I got this, got this for 5,000 Korean won. So that's like about maybe three, three euros something. So it's very cheap. And yeah, it's a turtleneck. It's like this. They only come in one size. And I got it from Gangnam Station Anyway, we're going to eat <sighs> When there's no schedule, I feel like the vlog is boring Maybe I should tell you guys some stories I'll tell you a story um, After eating Here is my story, my story to tell you. As you know, I watch Korean dramas, and in Korean dramas, I always get so annoyed, or I used to get annoyed, because everybody knew each other and everybody was related and linked to one another. Here's my experience in Germany. One time, when Kuya Dom was, was vis visiting me, you can watch the vlogs, just click here. And we went to Ludwigsburg, to the castle. And we went, when we were there, I met a Korean. We, we talked a little bit, we took a picture together, and then that was it. But then we found out, while we were talking, that he is an exchange student, and that he's going to the same university as I am. That, which was so strange and random, because we were in a total different city. Anyway, moving forward, when I got, got back to university, I have a friend who was also learning Korean and he had a tan tandem partner and guess what? It was the Korean that I met in the palace. And then that same friend of mine had another friend whom he was talking to uh, through uh, some messenger. As it turns out, that Korean was my neighbor. <laughs> to continue the the Korean drama in real life story, my teacher for the first and second SEM in Korean was not only my neighbor but also the mother of my former classmate. This is madness. It's madness, I tell you. This is madness. To top it off, now that I'm here in Korea, I have, a, I, I have a friend here, I also met in Germany, so another Korean that I met in Germany. She lives here in Korea, in Seoul. And we were talking, and because I'm trying to get an internship here or get to study here in Korea. And then I said I'm interested in applying at university. Just to find out that she's a student at university. And not only that, um, I spoke to one of the professors who is a friend of a friend of my father. I am your father. Oh, no. It's not true. So I don't know if you caught all of those, that, that, that um, web of connections.
but all I just wanted to say is that after it after experiencing it and after it happened to me I fully believe what they show in Korean dramas that everybody is linked to one another and knows each other and is related in some way yeah so that is my story for today Guys, I really like this in Korea. When you're in like supermarkets, they give out so many samples, and the people know when they give out samples because all of a sudden they storm in, and then it's gone in seconds. And I have to say, I like the fact that you don't have to be ashamed. You just go and grab it and enjoy it. Dad, what do you have to say about the samples? It's very delicious and free. Yeah, free. <laughs> It's very yummy. I'll vlog later when I get out of here, but I'm going to continue to room around and to taste some samples. There's kulkuki inside. Maybe it will look but as of now I'm not seeing anything. There's like light brownish shimmer but it's not what I was aiming for. Anyway, to compensate this I'm going to put this now. Y'all Hello everybody <laughs> I will walk around today or tonight for the last time through the streets of Hebangchong, Itaewon and Namdaemun. It's my official last day here. I basically did not do anything. I just stayed at home being lazy. I like that kind of drink. I don't red red ginseng. And I just I'm seeing myself without a beard. I look so weird. I look like a different person. At pumuti ako. I look old. How you know? Tignan niyo mo. Pumutanda. What? Matanda. I don't like myself without the beard. And I look so pale. I can't still get used to how I look like without my beard. I look, I look like a baby, baby face. <laughs> or gollum, gollum, gollum. This is what I was wearing today. I bought this at Gangnam for 5,000 won. And I bought this one at Namdaemun for 19,000. Then I bought two long johns because it's winter in Germany now so it's just underwear and I got my first toner 
and fluid thingy and then this was a gift by the shop they gave it to me and i bought myself a suitcase because that one's full and i still need one so yeah be like because of the shaving it looks like i've been like my skin has been peeled off for some reason i feel so white i don't know what happened why am I so pale? I remember being tanned when I came here. So strange. Anyway, let's have some dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, it was very stressful to pack my bags. I'm going to get to cook tomorrow. This one here, my laptop bag. Um, this is my hand carry, my carry on. My check-in luggage. So I hope they will let me bring this with me. So yeah, all I can say is I am so happy that I've been here in Korea. Thank you to everyone who accommodated me, who spent time with me, who gave me blessings of any sort. Yeah. looking forward to see you all soon again so other than that i wish you all a good morning good afternoon a good evening wherever you may be see you soon adios kumai